I want to talk to you a little bit about the little nuances of catching is framing a pitch, and people don't realize how important it is that a catcher just know how to catch the ball. The way that you uh, that you approach it has to start in the bullpen, learning these guys. Talk to me a little bit about how that goes. Yeah, you're right. And, you know, a lot of it has to do, again, what we talked about with the blocking, coming becoming more familiar with what these guys do and how their ball moves and uh, where to set up really helps uh, you set up yourself and the team for, for success in terms of um, receiving pitches. But, look, there's no, you know, there, there's a hundred ways to do it, but we feel like we've got a good system and John Russell's worked really hard. You know, what we've seen in the past is that a lot of guys have been really wanting to get out there and stick to pitch every time. But what we've seen is sometimes really receiving the ball nice and quiet has really helped. But the, the thing is, you've got to read the pitch and no two pitches are the same. And so I'll give you a perfect example. If we got a good hard four seam outside on the outside corner, that's probably going to nick the part, the, the outside part of that plate. I'll we be really, the four seamer. <laughs> we really want to just be able to receive it nice and soft and just kind of let it come into us, okay? Now, if it's a borderline pitch, though, let's say it's maybe a little bit out there. Now we may want to grab it out there before it runs off the plate. Right. Two totally different pitches. Now let's talk about a slider too. If we got a slider that's curving to the outside part of the plate, we're going to want to grab it before, okay? Now let's say it's the opposite. Let's say we've got a left-handed slider coming on this side of the plate and it starts out as a ball. We're going to want to come and receive it deep. towards the plate. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. So you want to receive those pitches deep in the strike zone to give it every opportunity to catch a corner while the umpire's looking at exactly. it. Exactly. A lot of it has to do with your setup as well. If you're deep, if you're deep in the in in the uh, in your stance and the hitter is up here, it's just physics, guys. I mean, if you're going to catch the ball out like as it gets deeper, it's getting lower the angle. So you've got to be able to get underneath the hitter close enough to be able to receive these pitches as they're still getting close to your knee, that borderline strike, without getting hit with a bat. And that's something we talked about was yep. sometimes when you get too far back, major league pitchers, this much means a lot with them. And if you can just inch up and give yourself some, some space underneath them to then receive those balls, you're going to steal a lot of strikes. Well, I know what you mean by that because uh, one of the problems a lot of catchers uh, or one of the things they haven't been taught really is how far up in in this catching area you can actually move to get underneath the swing. So they don't understand what behind the swing and in front of the swing actually means. You know, if you sit too far back, you're almost so far out of the strike zone by the time you catch the ball, you don't give the umpire a chance to call it a strike. Exactly. And that's why you see some of these guys getting hit in the head with these back swings because they're up under them pretty close. And we'll take that. I'll take a hit in the head for a strike all day long, you know? But I think another <laughs> thing, too. Obviously, I've taken these, a lot of them. <laughs> some of these pitches on the inside part of the plate, a right-handed sinker, if you can really manipulate the glove and let that sinker get deep and really receive it and kind of curl it back into you, mm -hmm. you're going to steal a lot of pitches because what a lot of guys want to do is they want to turn that glove over and really show the umpire that it's outside. But I tell you what, if you can just really maneuver that glove in here this way, you're going to do really well. Well, doing really well is what you've been doing as of late. And I, I love the way you're handling the pitching staff. Good luck the rest of the season, and thanks for joining thanks, me. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate it.